So one thing we want to do as we're learning HTML and CSS is keep in mind the big picture. And if you think back to the beginning, we talked a lot about the fact that HTML is really for the structure and semantics of your page, and CSS is really there for presentation. And to remind you, we use this example of a car. And HTML is really about all the structural aspects of the car. That could be the tires, the roof, the bumpers, anything structural. CSS, on the other hand, with style, is all about the size, the color, the appearance, and the materials that you use. So if we think about the image tag, we're using a width and height to dictate what the size of that image is going to be in the browser. Now, doesn't that sound a lot like presentation? Aren't we violating the intention of using HTML for structure by doing that? Well, let me give you a way to think about this. If we think about the browser and an image, now we could use width and height just to tell the browser what the size of the image is. And we could almost think of that as just giving it some hints, some metadata. We're really not telling it how to display that image necessarily, but we are telling it the size so it can do its job. Now there's another way to use width and height. And that is to tell the browser the image is another size. In other words, to affect the size of the image in the display. Say we want to make it bigger than it really is or smaller than it really is. That's where we're really into troublesome territory. And that really feels like style. And that's really actually the job of CSS. So keep that in mind as we move along. And of course, we're going to talk about the CSS and how to use CSS to control several ways that your image appears in your web page.